In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the camera settings that I use for my drone videos, particularly for the Mavic 2 Zoom. And as a bonus, I'll show you some cinematic footage that I shot today. So stay tuned. What's up everyone, it's Dennis here, back with another video. So before I dive into the camera settings, I just want to quickly cover some of the settings that I use. I normally turn on the histogram, as this will help you check your exposure of your image or your footage. I turn on the grid or the rule of thirds, as that will help you uh, frame up your shots. If you have the option for AFC, especially if you're flying a Mavic drone, it allows autofocus to be always on so that you don't need to keep manually pressing the shutter to you know focus the subject. Now also if you have the option to turn on those zebra lines you know turn it on just to see how the image or the footage looks. Um, may you know I don't really use it that much I use the histogram more but sometimes I do like to turn on the zebra lines just to see whether I'm overexposed or underexposed. Now I'm gonna assume that you're familiar with camera exposures. If you don't, I'll cover that in a separate video. So let's dive into the camera settings. Most of the time I shoot in manual mode. You know, sometimes I do shoot in auto mode. There's nothing wrong with that one. If you're not familiar with the manual settings, you can start off with the auto. However, if you really wanna get into the cinematic footage, you definitely need to shoot in manual mode. For my settings, I almost always shoot in 4K 30 frames per second. Sometimes I shoot in 4K 24 frames per second. Second, you know when I shoot in manual I normally change or adjust the shutter speed to double the frame rate so to give you an example if I'm shooting in 4k 30 frames per second my shutter speed will need to be double that or at 60 the ISO or light sensitivity is always set at 100 just remember the higher the ISO the more noisier or the more grain uh, they'll show up in your footage. Most DJI drones have a fixed aperture unless you're using the Phantom 4 Pro or the Mavic 2 Pro. Hence why an ND filter always helps as it allows you to lower that shutter speed. Depending on the time of day when you're shooting, you may or may not need the ND filter. However, for example, if you're shooting midday where the sun is bright, then an ND filter will help to eliminate those bright lights coming to your sensor to allow you to lower your shutter speed. I'll talk more about the ND filters in a separate video, but in the time let's move on now depending on the time of day you're shooting I always set the white balance accordingly if I'm flying midday with a bright Sun then my white balance would be sunny if it's cloudy I set it cloudy you know hopefully you get the idea as for the color styles and color profile I actually don't mind just the stock standard settings that DJI has however if I do want to color grade my drone videos I always set a custom setting minus one zero plus one that's minus one or sharpness zero on contrast and plus one on saturation. I also changed the profile to d -like to give it a little bit more flatter image. Now I do suggest that you test out the settings that works well for you. Again, these are the settings that works for me. If you want to see the different attributes and how that impacts your footage, play around with it. I'll drop the link down below just to give you a quick comparison of how each attribute works. Finally, as for the codec, I always shoot an H.264. Unfortunately, if I use H.265, it just puts too much stress in my video editing workflow, particularly in my computer. It's not high-end spec, so I always shoot an H.264. After I finish shooting, just dump everything into an editing program like the Adobe Premiere Pro, cut the footage accordingly, add an adjustment layer, put the crop effect in, you know, crop top and the bottom just to give that widescreen black bars add another adjustment layer and choose either an existing preset or a lot or lookup table this will allow you to you know color grade your work depending on uh, how it looks like I do some minor adjustments here and there put some music in and away we go that's a simple and easy cinematic drone footage like this one
yeah, look, I hope you learned a little bit more about the camera settings that I use. Again, these are the settings that I use in my drone videos. Most importantly, you really need to play around with some of the settings here, tinker a little bit, experiment, and find out which one works well for you. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'm happy to answer them. Look, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Oh, by the way, do follow me on my other social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and more for news, updates and exclusive content. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.